Welcome to the first Creative Tuesday tutorial edition. What's good creatives? Hope you all are having a great day. So if you watched my last vlog, then you would know that I said every Tuesday from there on out, I would be dropping a new video. Now I kind of want to explain this. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial, but you never know what you're going to get. You might get a tutorial, you might get a vlog, you might get an informative video, you might get a review. I don't know, man. Whatever comes to my mind throughout the week and I can be creative with, I'm going to attack that idea and I'm going to put it out every Tuesday. So today we're doing a tutorial. I want to show you guys two music video effects that I did in this video earlier I've been editing a video this morning and I used two effects on it that I really like and it's mainly driven towards music videos That have an intense beat or fast-paced rapping or you could even add it into a vlog or something like that too If you're like doing a b-roll sequence and you want to add in some cool effects and the music's like going hammer Yeah, that was too much. Sorry, but anyway, let's jump over to the computer I'm gonna show you guys how to do do these two effects. All right, guys, now that we're in Premiere, let me show you guys the two effects. The first effect is this. The clip rumbling. What I did for that clip is I shot it on a tripod. Let me show you the actual clip. So why I came up with this idea is the song, the beat is really fast paced. It's really rumbly. And I felt like I want to shoot this shot on a tripod, symmetrical, right down these two lights and these two poles on the outside of him and him dead center. I thought it would be cool to just add the rumble onto it and make it go crazy from a tripod shot. So what I did is I lined it up. As you can see, it's already lined up and they're red because I actually sent the clip over to Adobe After Effects and put the effect on it. And it automatically affected the clip in Premiere and it turned it red. So let me show you guys how I did that. So let me find a layer that's free. This one right here, V13. Right there, we're gonna stop right there. Let's find that part in the song. Right there. All right, so let's bring that clip in. Oh, by the way, I marked in right at that spot. And now I'm gonna hold, click and hold onto this video and drag it into V13 because there's nothing on there. Now let's see if it's on beat. Perfect. So let's cut that just so we don't have all that extra video. So you find out where exactly in the song you're going to want the clip to be affected, or you can just drag it all out and affect the whole clip. So how you do this is you right click on that clip. Once you got it all set and lined up with your beat and you go to replace with After Effects composition, which is going to take it into After Effects and you're going to be able to add your effect, the wiggle animation. Don't be scared guys. If you don't know much about After Effects, it's okay. This program is tough and tedious, but this effect is super simple. So now that this has come up, it's asking us to save it. So let's save it. Let's do a tutorial and let's hit enter. Now we have the file saved. Now here is our clip. Now it's very simple. What you want to do is you want to come over down to the bottom where the source name is, go over to the left and click this arrow beside this turquoise square. Then you want to click the arrow next to transform. Then you want to highlight position. After you highlight a position, you want to go up to animation and you want to go to add expression. Now, if you come back down, you can see that there's an expression made. YC just text me. What's up, bro? I'll text you back in a second. Now you can see it says transform dot position. So what you want to do now is you want to type in wiggle parentheses and then go back into the parentheses and do 300 by 40. This is how much I actually added into this actual clip for the music video, but you can change it depending on how you want your clip to look. So the first number is how many shakes it's going to be. So there'll be 300 shakes. And then the second number is the amplitude. So 40 and the higher you go, the more it's going to shake, the more it's going to go crazier. So it's just you can up those numbers if you want. This is what I use for this tutorial. So once you type that in, don't click enter, just click out of it. Now it's affected the clip. Now, you, as you can see, it's shaking like crazy and rumbling all over the place. So you don't even have to shoot with a uh, camera shake and do it with your hands like a lot of people try to do. You can really shoot these shots on a tripod and add these uh, wiggles, earthquakes, rumbles, whatever you want to call them. You can add these to your clip and make it look like you were actually shaking the camera. So as you can see, with adding that effect, you see some black spaces on there. So what I do is I hit Command S to save it. I minimize this and go back and now you can see the clip is red so it's been affected and the effect is on it and you can see some spots you can see the background picture so what you're going to want to do is go to the part where it's got the biggest gap i'd say this one and you want to highlight it go to effects control and you just want to scale it up so i'm gonna go about 105. you don't see it anymore now it's just rumbling 
So you got a crazy rumble effect. Now with the music, the high intense music, beat, song, lyrics, whatever, now it looks perfect. It just makes sense. So you can add these shots in like quickly. You don't have to like let it go the whole time. You can just add them in here and there at different spots. So it can come in like, like stuff like that, like boom. Let's take out a clip here, take out a clip here. So we'll let this clip right here run and then this will come in, punch in and it'll switch to another clip. That way it's not fully just straight rumbles. So it kind of makes sense. You just got to understand where you want to put it at during like kicks and snaps and snares or maybe hi hats and you can like snare it in. So it's like a kick right there. I'm going to cut it right there. And you can even add a keyframe to it if you want to make it look even more crazy. So with keyframes, you come over here to motion and position. You want to click that stopwatch, scale, click that stopwatch. Then maybe we can go in two frames and we can make it punch in a little bit. Sorry, make it punch in a little bit. Go over to the next frame, punch in some more with the position. Oh, I'm sorry. With the position, we can bring it down a little bit and maybe over a little bit. Go about two more frames and we can bring it back out a little bit to 120. I'm sorry, 120. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Now let's go down a little bit more and then back over to the center. Now let's look at how that looks. Now it just looks crazy. So you want to put it in parts where the beat's going crazy, really intense, or where the lyrics are intense. And speaking of intense lyrics, let me show you the other effect that I was actually going to show you guys. So in this particular song, he starts rapping really, really fast. So I have the rumbling clip underneath another clip that I actually shot shaking the camera around on the tripod and making him move his hands around like crazy because he was rapping really fast. And then what I did was I cut every other frame out all the way through the part where he was rapping really fast just to make it skip and it gives a super dope effect. So as you can see, that's super cool. The way he's rapping really fast, it really is just like shaking and it's really giving you this crazy vision of like the video and while he's rapping fast and everything's just skipping and all over the place, kind of like, I don't know, just going crazy. So as you can see, underneath these clips, I have the rumbling effect rumbling. So that's our first effect. And then the second effect is just go through. Let me delete these real quick. And all you got to do, and you could even do it an easier way probably, but this is how I did it. Boom, boom, every other, every frame. I cut every frame and then I took out delete, 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 delete. So I took out all the frames just like that. Simple as that. It's a very simple effect, fast, simple, easy but it makes sense if you have somebody rapping really fast or if the beat is just really going super fast. So as you can see, he's moving around, shaking his hands all around on the top clip. And then the bottom clip, I got the rumble effect added onto it. And then I just chopped every other frame on the top clip with him shaking his hands and head around. And I was actually doing some in-camera movement with the tripod. So it came out cool, man. That was a super cool effect. Uh, actually, both of those are super cool, man. And obviously, if you're going to do this effect, you're going to need Adobe After Effects to replace the clip. And let me show you guys one more time how you do that. You just cut the clip that you want, right click that clip, and you click Replace with After Effects Composition. And it will open it up into After Effects. It will ask you to save it. Then what you do is you click this arrow comes down, you click the arrow at transform, you highlight position, you go to animation and add expression. It says remove right now because I've already added one, but you click add expression and where it gives you that text, you just type in wiggle parentheses, your shakes number, a comma, your amplitude, and then close it with another parentheses. Boom, click off of it, command S to save it. And you're literally done in After Effects. You can really close it out. And you come back, your clip will be red, it'll be affected, and you can add keyframes, you can do the cut every other frame so it makes the stutter effect. Anything you want, man. So I hope that this helped you guys. I hope these effects can help you on your upcoming music videos or music videos that you've already done and you haven't put out yet. So maybe you want to go back and add this to it. I just simply wanted to show you guys because I just did it and I thought it was really cool and I thought that you guys would love it. So if you did like this video, man, drop it a like for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and I'll see you next Tuesday if I don't come up with something else to do before Tuesday. So peace.